Tuesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Karen Greer. We have a lot of news to get to. We begin with the Georgia case that's gripping the nation. The investigation into the murder of 25 year old Ahmad Arbery, a black man fatally shot three times by a white father and son who say he looked like a suspect in a series of recent break ins. Now, Rebecca Schramm is following the renewed push to get a hate crimes legislation established in Georgia because of this case. And our Haley Mason is in Brunswick, where state legislators and ministers are gathering right now to discuss the latest in this case. Haley, are the family members of Ahmad Arbery there at that event? Not of our weary years. Karen, yes, Not the family of years. Ahmad Arbery has Down just arrived, and they just started a prayer the actually here on the steps of the courthouse the here in Brunswick in Glen County. I'm stepping to the side to speak more clearly to you all because a prayer just began, but you're taking a live look right now here at the Glen County Courthouse where more than a dozen lawmakers from the Georgia State Capitol, a representative from the Atlanta City Council, they are all here to support this family, to talk about criminal justice reform, to talk about that hate crime legislation, and to also talk about the latest developments in this case. Representative Al Williams from Midway, Georgia is organizing this event, Karen, and I asked him what he thinks about the newest appointment of Joyette Holmes as the new special prosecutor. He tells me that he is on the side of justice in whichever way they can get it. They're asking people to be socially distanced. We see people here with masks. A number of them have on these yellow t-shirts that say, don't take my life, let me live. They are in support of the Arbery family. And right now we're expecting them to be uh, receiving a special proclamation from the city in addition to hearing from these lawmakers that are in support of justice in this case. But right now we are live in Brunswick, Georgia. Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. All right, Haley, a very packed crowd there. We will check back with you and have more reports from you throughout the day. Thanks.